Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel and today we have a really interesting question, we need to find the area of this red square. We know that this is a circle on the left side, radius 5, and this is the same circle on the right side with the radius 5, and we need to find the area of this, of this red square, and we need to do this quickly and step by step, so right now we can also pause the video and try to solve this question by ourselves, we will check our answers here in just 30 seconds, so it will be really interesting, of course, if you want to solve this question right now by yourself, you can easily do this, and we will check our answers. So first of all, let's draw this line. This is the same radius, we have the same 5 right here, so this is our first step, we just draw this line, which is at the same 5 right here, so we have the same radius. Okay, the next step, let's draw this line right here, which is absolutely the same radius, so we have 5 right here, 5 right here, and 5 right here, so this radius touch this square in this, in this point. And for easier calculation, let's call the side of this square, let's call, for example, as x, this is a really important moment right now, so we have x right here, and because of this square, we have x, x right here. The next thing, let's draw this line right here with the right angle, and this is really important moment right now, because if we draw this line right here, it implies that right here, if we have x at the side length, so it implies that this part right here, this small part, is equal to x as well, yeah? So this is x, and because this, the whole radius equal to 5, so this is x, and this is equal to 5 minus x, something like that. So I hope you understand this trick. Uh, this is right angle, this is x, and this is the same x, the whole radius equal to 5, so then this part equal to 5 minus x. The next really tricky moment, we divide our whole shape by two equal parts, right here in this part, so as a result, because this side equal to x, then this part of this square, of this top side equal to x over 2, and this side equal to x over 2. So this is really important moment right now, we just divide both sides by two equal, two equal parts. And right now, this radius equal to 5, and this small part equal to x over 2, and it implies that this line will be equal to 5 minus x over 2, okay, because this is a rectangle, so we have all the time right angle, so as a result, this 5, this small part x over 2, so it implies that we still have 5 minus x over 2 in this, in this small in this small part. And right now, let's consider this triangle. We have a right angle, we know that this side equal to 5 minus x over 2, a radius this is equal to, this is not a radius, this is the side of this triangle equal to 5, and the last uh, length equal to 5 minus x. So right now let's apply our Pythagorean theorem and let's find our x, which is our side lens right here in this square. So here's our expression after applying the Pythagorean theorem. We have right here 5 minus x of so this side square plus the next side right here we have 5 minus x over 2 right here equal to 5 square equal to 25. So we need to solve this. Looks like quadratic equation, so we need to solve this equation and then we will plug in right here our x and we will have our area. So let's do this. First of all, let's open our parentheses right here, this is our formula a minus b square, so 25 minus 10x plus x square, this is our first parenthesis, and plus second parenthesis, okay, equal to 25, so nothing hard, formula a minus b to the second power, very basic, very basic formula, so here's our challenge right now. The next thing, let's cancel this 25, because we have 25 right here, 25 right here, so we can also cancel this 25 from left side and to right side, and as a result we have this expression without 25 on left and on the right side. Right here we have this 4 in our denominator, so right now let's multiply both side by 4. And when we multiply, we, we cancel this 4 in our numerator and in our denominator, so as a result this is really great. But as a result we have minus 40 instead of 10, we have 4x square instead of x square, we have 25 times for 100, minus 20, because 5 times 4 equal to 20, and as a result we have this expression, but without any denominator, so it's a really great moment, right? 4x square plus x square, 5x square right here, we have minus 60x, because minus 40x, minus 20, minus 60x, and plus 100. So this is classic, basic quadratic equation, let's divide both sides by 5, and as a result our final equation, x square minus 12x plus 20 equal to 0, we can easily find our roots, x first and x second, uh, according to Vieta's theorem, or like discriminant, whatever you want. Okay, so we have two roots, 2 and 10. If you look closely, 10 is not good for us because 5 minus 10, this is a negative value. In terms of geometry, this is not a good thing. In terms of algebra, this is a great thing right now, but in terms of geometry, we need to cancel this x, x second. And in our case, x is equal to 2. This is a great, a great solution. So right now, let's plug in this uh, x equal to 2 because x equal to 2 and 2, this is our side lens. And of course, we can easily find the area of this red square. And the area, this is side lens square, 2 square square equal to 4 square unit. Really interesting challenge, also write your thoughts down into the comment section, what do you think is the correct approach, what about your approach, it will be really interesting to read about it, this is my approach, what about your approach, it will be really interesting to read about it, also thank you for your time, thank you for your support, see you in the next videos, and have a great day.